Welcome to Vision Academy. Today's current affairs English date 2nd March 2019. Let us start with national news updates. On 27th February 2019, Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pratan has handed over the 100th letter of intent under SATET Sustainable Alternative Towards Affordable Transportation Scheme to compress biogas entrepreneur which is an waste to wealth venture after handover of galvai cbg would significantly reduce india's import burden and provide an environment friendly and low cost alternative to conventional petroleum fuels the news says dharmendra pradhan our petroleum minister have handed over the 100th letter of intent on 27th february 2019 he did this under the satet which is sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation scheme to compress the biogas entrepreneur he expects by doing this our india's import cpg burden would be significantly reduced and we can switch to some environment friendly and low cost alternative petroleum fuels next news department of environment of persons with disabilities with ministry of social justice and empowerment have organized a national conference on dindayal disabled rehabilitation scheme at dr ambedkar international center at new delhi on 1st march 2019 the motive behind this conference is to lay impact on the need for creation of an inclusive society that accepts and respects disabled person without discrimination the news says the national conference on dindayal disabled rehabilitation scheme was held at dr ambedkar international center new delhi on 1st of march 2019 this national conference was organized by department of empowerment of persons with disabilities with ministry of social justice and empowerment The motivation of this conference is to create an impact with the people and the society to accept and respect disabled person without discrimination. Next news: Border Security Force and Border Guards Bangladesh took part in 3-day Mainamati Main Tree Exercise 2019 as a part of confidence building measures between the two border guards of India and Bangladesh. This held at a general area of BSF Sri Matapur border outpost near Agratala Tirpura The news says border security force and border guards of Bangladesh have participated in the 3 day exercise which is called Mainamati Maitri exercise 2019 This is as a part of confidence building measure between the two border guards of India and Bangladesh The exercise held in the general area of BSF's Sri Matapur border outpost near Agartala, Tripura. Next news: The railways has decided to suspend operations of Indo-Pak Samjhauta Express on its side due to a drastic decline in occupancy, especially after the Pulwama terror attack. The railway board has decided to cancel all the operations from the trains next schedule. The Pakistan has already suspended the services on its end in the aftermath of the February 14 terror attack on CRPF personnel in Pulwama. The news says our Indian railways have decided to suspend the operations of India Pakistan Samjhauta Express due to the terror attack in Pulwama. The railway board have decided this to stop the operations of all the trains scheduled from the next run. Next news: West Bengal Education Minister Partha Chatterjee unveiled a web portal Banglar Siksha to provide real-time data on state-run and aid schools. This web portal will store real-time data of 1.5 crore students, 5 lakh teachers, and 1 lakh schools. and will also address many issues like attendance of students and teachers the news says west bengal education minister partha chatterjee unveiled a web portal called banglar siksha 
which is to provide a real-time data on state-run and aid schools. This web portal will store the real data of 1.5 crore students and 5 lakh teachers along with 1 lakh schools information. And this will also address the many kind of issues like attendance of students and teachers. Next, let us see international news. The United States and North Korea have failed to reach a formal deal at Hanai summit. The talk has ended with no agreement after the US refused North Korean demand to lift all the international sanctions. The two-day meeting in the Vietnamese capital Hanai has come eight months after the historic summit in Singapore in June last year. The news says United States and North Korea have failed to reach any formal agreement or deal held at Hanoi summit. This talk has ended with no agreement after United States have refused to take the Korean demand to lift all the international sanctions. The two-day meeting held at Vietnam's capital Hanoi. Next, let us see economy news updates. According to the US-based ranking agency, Moody's quarterly global macro outlook, which was released on 1st March 2019, Indian economy is expected to grow at 7.3% in 2019 and 2020. According to the Moody's India is less exposed to decline in global manufacturing trade growth than other Asian economics and emerging markets and is balancing to grow at relatively stable pace in the next two years. The news says US-based rating agency Moody, which is quarterly global macro outlook, have released its report on 1st March 2019. In this report, Indian economy is expected to grow 7.3% in 2019 and 2020. According to Moody, India is less exposed to decline in global manufacturing trade growth than other Asian economics. Next, let us see our words. Vice President Sri M. Vengaya Naidu presented Kalam Innovation in Governance Award 2019 at the third edition of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Summit on Innovation and Governance held in New Delhi. On this occasion, he also started 75 new Kalam digital libraries spread across the countries, which will be serving as a center for no-cost digital-based learning in schools. The news says, third edition of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Summit on Innovation and Governance was held at New Delhi. In this award, Vice President Sri Yam Vengaya Naidu presented Kalam Innovation in Governance Award 2019. On this occasion, he also started 75 new Kalam digital libraries across our country, which will serve a center for no-cost digital-based learning in schools. Next, let us see sports news. The England women's cricket team are currently playing with India's women cricket team in February and March 2019. The tour consists of three women's one-day international which formed part of 2017-20 ICC Women's Championship and three women's T20 international matches. The news says England women's cricket team are currently playing with our Indian women cricket team in February and March of this year. This tour will have three women ODI and three women T20 international matches. Next news, West Indies cricket Chris Gayle becomes the first player in the world to hit 500 sixes, the 14th batsman and second from the Caribbean after Berend Lara to reach the milestone of 10,000 ODI runs after scoring 162 of 97 balls against England in the fourth ODI at the National Cricket Stadium in St. George's, Grenada. The news says West Indies cricket player Chris Gale becomes the first player in the world to hit 500 sixes and 
He is 14th batsman and second from Karipin after Viren Lara to reach the milestone of 10,000 ODI runs after scoring 162 of 97 balls against England. Important Days Zero Discrimination Day observed on 1st March is an annual worldwide event that promotes diversity and recognizes the everyone's count. Organizations like United Nations actively promote the day with various activities to celebrate everyone's right to live a full life with dignity regardless of age, gender, sexuality, nationality, ethnicity, skin color, height, weight, profession, education and beliefs. The news says March 1st is followed as Zero Discrimination Day to promote the diversity and recognize that every one of us counts. The United Nations organizations say that every one of us have right to live our full life with regardless of age, gender, sexuality, nationality, ethnicity, skin color, height, weight, profession, education or beliefs. To have a daily current affairs updates, subscribe to Vision Academy and don't forget to press the bell button below. And if you think the video is informative, like this video, share this video, comment below for the doubts.